children today our maths class let us discuss our textbook page number 9 here 10 hundreds for the 100th anniversary celebration 10 students contributed rupees 100 each the table below shows the money given by them fill it children we already uh, so adira collected money for the 100th anniversary celebration like this each of the student that school means the 10 students 10 students of that school collected the money 100 rupees each then let us find the total amount they collected in together are you ready children look at the textbook 100 100 make yes 100 100 then 200 what about 200 100 plus 100 is equal to 200 then what about 300 100 plus 100 100 is equal to 300 children can you fill the table like this 400 400 500 together 500 600 together 600 700 make 700 rupees make 700 What about eight hundred rupees? Yes, eight hundred rupees make eight hundred. Then nine hundred rupees make nine hundred. Then what about like this? Okay. Then what about ten hundred? Yes, ten hundred make thousand. Yes, children. Here, ten hundred make thousand. Okay, all of you understand. Ten hundred are make the number thousand. Children, you all of you fill this table. Okay, using your pencil. Children, next question your textbook. Book number. The students collected book for the school library. The books collected on the first day are shown below. Do you see the picture of some books? Yes, that is collected on the first day. Can you number books in order? Children, here the number starts from one hundred nine. Now let us complete the book number. Here the number started one hundred nine. One hundred nine after which number? Yes, one hundred ten. Then do you know which is the next number? One hundred ten after which number? Yes, one hundred eleven. Next one hundred twelve. Next one hundred. Thirty. Next one hundred forty. Next one hundred fifty. Next one hundred sixty. Sixty after which number? One hundred seventy. One hundred eighty. One hundred ninety. One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty-one. One hundred twenty-two. One hundred twenty-three, one hundred twenty-four. The books numbers are given like this. Can you fill the number like this? Your textbook. Yes, good. You should fill the numbers like this. Okay. Children, this book collected on the first day. On the second day, they collected thirty-four books. Then what is the number of last books? Children, 
second day on the second day they collected how many books 34 books they collected 34 books then number of last book how do we find yes children first day they collected the book and give the number 124 124 is the last number so 124 plus 34 34 books arranged in second day so what is the answer 124 plus 34 4 plus 4, 8, 3 plus 2, 5, then 1. Yes, 158. What is the last number of books? 158. And 158 day? First day, 124. That's the last book in the number. Next day, 34 books. Next day, 34 books. Arrange it. So let us add 124 plus 34. Then we will get the answer 158. That is the number of last book. Okay. Children, on the fifth day, they collected the books from 253 to 256. Then on that day, how many books they collected? Alright. Fifth day, numbers book arranged the collected. And the other numbers on the number of the books collected. How do we find? So, if a question like this, in between how many numbers? If a letter numbers on the other we want to find the answer like this. Here, biggest number is. Which is the biggest number? 256 minus small number 253. Let us subtract small number from big number. So, 256 subtract 253. Here, answer is 3. Then, they, they were arranged three books. Is it right? No, never. It is not correct answer. So, when we subtract like this, just add one with this number. Then we get four. They arranged four books. Our other books arranged four books. I will explain once more. Here we want to find the number between 200 numbers between 253 to 256. So we don't know the, how many books are there. So how do we find? Uh, we want to subtract uh, big num uh, small number from the big number. Then add one with the answer. Very number in the chair, number subtract the initiation one and chiga. Okay, let us practice more problems like this. Okay, look at the next question. How many numbers are there from 421 to 430? What was the first step? Yes, here. Now we want to find the numbers from 421 to 430. How many numbers are there? Then, so first let us subtract 430 minus 421. Here big number is 430. Then we want to subtract 421 from 430. When number in the cherry number in the subtract it. When we subtract 430 minus 421. How do we subtract? Yes, here is 0. So, 0s 
zero minus one is not possible, so we take a borrow here ten. Ten minus one is equal to nine. Here is the number two. Two minus two zero. Four minus four zero. So what is the answer? Yes, nine is the answer. When we subtract, we get nine. Is the answer wrong? No. When we get, uh, we need correct answer. So we add one with nine. So ten is the answer. How many numbers are there? Four hundred and twenty-one to four hundred and thirty. Four hundred and twenty-one model. Four hundred and thirty. Well, how many numbers are there? Yes, there are ten numbers. Sanjeev, you can carry it. Any number. Four hundred and twenty-one. Four hundred and twenty-two. Four hundred and twenty-three. Four hundred and twenty-four. Four hundred and twenty-five. Then four hundred and twenty-six. Four hundred and twenty-seven. Four hundred and twenty-eight. Four hundred and twenty-nine. Four hundred and thirty. How many numbers are there? Yes, there are ten numbers. We have subtracted. We have done the correct answer. Utra mitte lagu ka hai. Number nine or ten bhi aadi hai na. One aadi with the that number. Okay. All of you understand this method. Let us look one more example. Okay. Here, how many numbers are there from five hundred sixty-seven to five hundred seventy-three? How many numbers are there? Let us find first five hundred and seventy-three minus five hundred and sixty-seven because five hundred and seventy-three is the big number. We want to subtract uh, small number from big number. Belly number and the belly number subtract them. So five hundred and seventy-three minus five hundred and sixty-seven. Three minus seven is it possible? No. So Let's take a borrow. When we take a borrow, here is thirteen. Here is six. Thirteen minus seven. Thirteen minus seven. What is the answer? Thirteen minus seven. Who is Priyana? Yes, six is the answer. Here is only six. Six minus six is zero. Five minus five is zero. Good. What is the answer? Yes, answer is six. So one more step is the. When we subtract, uh, after that just add one with the, this number. So answer is seven. Okay. Then look at the another question. How many numbers are there from eight hundred and ninety to eight hundred and ninety eight? Then first step, eight hundred and ninety eight minus eight hundred and ninety. Okay. Eight hundred and ninety-eight minus eight hundred and ninety. Eight minus zero, eight. Nine minus nine, zero. Eight minus eight, zero. So what is the answer? Eight. The next step is add one with this number. We get nine. Okay. Is it easy? Yes. Children, then please open your textbook. Then here one question. The method I used to find out the numbers between one number and another number. One number no, a matte number no. Here daily lorna numbers ko kanda padi kena thora. Yendu method I use here. Which method we used? Yes, we use last number. Last number, big number. Last number. Minus first number, last number minus first number plus one. This method we used here. Children, here we find the method of find uh, found the numbers between one number to another. Which method we found? Yes, we used here last number minus first number plus one. Dear children, today I will give you some of the questions like your notebook for homework. All of you should write down the homework and send me answers. Thank you. Have a nice day.